Me, King Human. I got out the dough mug because I was an idiot yesterday. Made a really stupid video. But I took it down right away. Okay, what's happening? Facebook marketing. I made a video yesterday recommending a product that took images and made clickable links for your of your images on your Facebook page which I think is a killer, killer tool to be able to advertise and market on your Facebook page with clickable images. There are just so many ways to make money with that. So I recommended this product and then somebody emailed me and said, King Human, you fat, bald-headed, indoor sunglass wearing, excrement cranium idiot you. You can do that. There's a free workaround. Go, go to this blog post and read how you can do it for free. Duh! Idiot I am. So I immediately took that video down, recommending that product. If you bought that product, I'm sorry. Go get a refund. Here's what I want you to do. Go get a refund from the company. If the company gives you any hardship, go to PayPal and just file a thing saying this forget about it don't want it don't need it I can do the same thing for free then go on to Google and search how to make a, a picture on Facebook into a clickable link and you'll find a ton of information on how to do it for free freaking oh, I hate that when people uh, oh, don't, I, I don't want to go into rant digression in this video and I'm on the edge at all times right now, going into rant. I don't, I don't know what's got me amped up, but there it is. I still think Facebook marketing is huge if you do it right. Be creative. You know, I if you didn't see my previous video, I talked about using, um, as an example, if you go sign up to be an affiliate at Affiliate Gateway like... Uh, Clickbank or whatever and you find there's a really hot dating website that's paying a good I don't know 20 50 bucks whatever they're paying a good commission they have a high EPC which means earnings per click and what that tells you is you know you send people to their website and their website converts really well so Basically, it means more money for you if you're an affiliate marketer. And it just, this dating website clicks on all cylinders. And you decide to promote it. Here's what I, just off the top of my head, this is the example I came out with. Getting like six pictures of six really cute girls. And putting them, you know, putting the images on your Facebook page. And at the top, you know, have a name for each girl. Betty, Susan... Uh, bimbo, whatever. I can't even think of girls' names right now. I never can. What the hell is wrong with me? And uh, and then below them, I would have click here to meet Betty now, click here to meet Susan now, etc. For all six girls. And then when people click on those pictures of those girls, it takes them to the landing page or the sales page of that dating website where it talks them into joining and you get the 20 buck or 50 buck sign up fee and of course your goal is to at least get a thousand people in a year to sign up and then you'd have an extra twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollars that year that you didn't have and of course you could do that with other things you know just use your imagination I'm, I, it was just a really loose example but the power of marketing with clickable images on your Facebook page is huge. And of course, Facebook knows this too because they have a service where you can actually buy that. Um, basically, you can buy a, a graphic banner and do a pay-per-click advertising campaign. The difference would be your graphic banner would be contextual. So let's say you were doing golf clubs you were selling a golf club or a golf product and when somebody went on to Facebook and they went to the golf group or they typed in golf or whatever 
your ad would show up depending on how much you bid for the keywords and etc and I'm not even really sure about that I don't use Facebook to market I just don't have time but I know how these contextual uh, pay-per-click ads work on search engines and I'm sure Facebook is operates the same way they're no idiots so uh, anyway if you want to do it for free Google that information like I told you and the only difference is the only people that are gonna see your pictures are people that come to your Facebook page again if you use the Facebook contextual pay-per-click advertising it's gonna cost you money but it's gonna be seen by people that don't even come to your page it's gonna be seen hopefully by a lot of people again it, it would depend on how much you bid per click on certain keywords that you want okay enough you can go read about that if you want to learn about it go to Facebook there's a whole thing on it leave me alone I'm already annoyed at myself more than you stupid 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 anyway I want to thank the guy that sent me that email and gave me a heads up because uh, it, it got me to uh, get on top of it and again I immediately took that video down so it's I, I, I really hate putting crap information out there I really don't want to be that guy so how that got through my brain I don't know I got no excuse I just have to take the blame on this one and uh, hit me in the head with a lead pipe whatever okay now on to new business um, bubbles 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 okay uh, I'm getting a bunch of <laughs> I'm getting a bunch of emails about the stock picks that I put out and gold so let's go to it today by the way I'm posting this the day before Valentine's Day 2014 so don't look at this three years later and tell me or a week later and tell me oh King Newman you're full of crap the stock is down or it's not at that price or whatever you idiot you okay uh, as of today let me open my stock uh, tracker here um, okay my last rec stock recommendation to you guys and it was kind of a weak recommendation was Tesla Motors and since I recommended it it's up 60.04 percent that's when I bought it you can see right there no lie on the day it's up four dollars and twenty five cents I've made personally fifty nine hundred and eighty nine dollars and sixty cents on that one stock the reason I bought it was because I like Tesla's business model and I like the fact that they've only got really one problem before they explode and that is delivery they're having trouble getting parts and getting the cars made fast enough they've got orders up the wazoo they just need to cure their delivery problems and I think they will and once they do that that stock may jump I like their business model that's that's the reason I bought their stock also I'm thinking about buying the new Tesla X and I figured this would be a discount I could make money with it. anyway I don't know I just like Tesla leave me alone um, my other stocks I won't go into right now they're all up in fact I better because somebody's gonna give me crap so let me open this again and look at it okay um, all my stocks are super green except for Anworth Mortgage Asset Corporation and that to me I'm a chartist and that was trading in the narrow sideways channel but boy it's and I bought it at the low but it's just staying at that low I'm, I've been waiting for it to bubble up and then sell and uh, I'm upside down on that a few bucks um, let's go through them one by one I guess so you guys know okay Kroger I bought that it's up 70.86 percent since I bought that and recommended it Enprise Products Partners is up 59.55 percent since I recommended it um, China Mobile Hong Kong 
is only up 2.06%. It really fell. It was really high, and then now it's down. I'm still in profit, and you would be too if you listened to me. Johnson & Johnson is up 51.67% since I recommended it, and I bought it. Um, Brookfield International Partners up 49.33% since I recommended it and bought it. And uh, ETP, which is a fairly recent buy, is up 14.84% um, since I recommended it and bought it. Um, Consolidated Communications Holding Inc. is up 9.10%. That's another recent buy, I think. And then Tesla. Okay, got it? Good. I don't have, those of you that, re, that subscribed to my stock flipping newsletter, there's nothing going on. It's dead right now. I can't find any stocks that are flippable. They're more buy and hold. Now let's go to gold, since I recommended gold to you guys, or, or talked about gold to you guys. I don't recommend anything. I'm not telling you guys to buy anything. I'm just telling you what I do. If you want to ride along, fine. If you don't, whoop de doo Okay, gold. I bought at 1100 and something. And I, I did a video. I showed you guys. In fact, here's the, here's the lid to the box of gold that I bought. I bought gold ingots at 1100 and something. Today, it's up 10.4, $10.40 on the day, bringing it to 1302.60 per ounce. I made a good amount of money with that. So here's the thing. Um, if you bought when I told you, let's hang on to it for a while longer. <coughs> I want to see if we can get close to 15, and then we'll think about dumping and repositioning ourselves when, when it goes down again, and then we'll be able to make another twenty, thirty thousand dollars or whatever. I don't know how much you buy, whatever could be whatever but there's money to be made and I'll make it for you or I'll help you make it for yourself alright people there it is I'm an idiot and I'm a genius what are you gonna do I'm not from this planet leave me alone go donate some dough to help a sick kid St. Jude's Research Hospital for kids I mean how can you, you here you are you got money you haven't even used yet and you're not even helping a sick kid. I'm a better human being than you are, and I don't even come from this planet. I got more compassion than you, and... Okay, I'm going to go off now because I'm going to start yelling, and I don't want to get my blood pressure up. I'm going to go play poker right now. Leave me alone. Go away.